What happened, Kitty? You seem worried. Oh, it looks like a blister. Quickly, get ready, Kitty. We need to test you for chicken pox. Oh, chicken pox? <laughs> it's not chicken pop, little kitty. It's called chicken pox. Hey, friends, I'm sure just like little kitty, you must be having so many questions about this strange disease that most of us might have experienced. So, in today's episode, let us figure this blistery disease and answer a vital question. What causes chicken pox? Zoom in! Chicken pox is a viral infection caused by a virus called varicella zoster, also known as VZV. This virus spreads through the air when a person with chicken pox coughs and sneezes or when someone comes in direct contact with saliva, mucus or liquid from blisters. You can even get the chicken pox virus from touching the clothes or other objects that have the blister liquid on them. Once the VZV virus enters someone's body, the person often gets a runny nose, followed by fever ranging from 101 to 102 degree Fahrenheit and a headache. Then, in a couple of days, the infected person will notice some red rashes on the chest and face that slowly spread across the entire body. Initially, these rashes look like pinkish dots that quickly develop a small bump on top and after a couple of days, they turn into itchy, fluid-filled blisters that eventually begin to crust over. And then it takes around 10 to 14 days for all the blisters to be scabbed. And remember my friends, chickenpox is a highly contagious disease, which means that somebody who has it can quickly spread it to others. A person with chickenpox is most contagious during the first 2 to 5 days of being sick. That's usually about 1 to 2 days before the red rash shows up. And unfortunately, you could be spreading around chickenpox unknowingly. So, the infected person must remain at home and take some rest until the rash is gone and all the blisters have dried up. This process could usually take about one week. Also, it was not long ago when millions of people used to suffer from chickenpox each year. But fortunately now, due to the availability of the vaccine, fewer and fewer kids get chickenpox. Trivia time! Did you know once someone has chickenpox, he probably won't get it again? Yes, my friends, after someone has had chickenpox, the virus rests in the nervous system for the rest of their life. But in some cases, the virus can reactivate later as shingles. Also, some people who have been vaccinated against chickenpox can still get the disease. However, the symptoms are usually milder with fewer or no red bumps, little or no fever. It's question time! So, today's question is, what is the name of the virus that causes chicken pox? Do write your answer in the comments section below and hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't yet to be a part of the Peekaboo Kids cutesy beautsy family and get a chance to get it featured by the end of our videos. So, here are the winners of the previous episode. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Oh, never mind. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you.